I am living my dream life. I have manifested my dream life without actually manifesting it, if that makes any sense. Just keep on watching this video to understand what I'm trying to say and how I have been able to build this delusional, unrealistic, beyond my wildest imagination life. And I'm actually living this reality. I'm actually breathing this reality. And it just, it's, it's ins insane to me. That's the word. It's wild to me that this has actually happened. It's, this has actually happened. Keep on watching this video. Before I tell you how I have manifested all the things in my life and how I'm living this dream life in Europe with the best husband and the best baby and the best career and the best girlfriends in the world, I just want to talk about the things that I have manifested because I want to tell you where I'm coming from, my background stories, so that you have something to believe on on, okay, has she actually manifested something or she's just talking about random things? Okay, you know what? Before I met my husband, who I absolutely adore, who is just the best human on this freaking planet, he's just, he has a heart of gold. He's, he's loving, he's caring, he's generous, he's humble, he's career-oriented, he's traveler, he's just available for me all the time, like on a phone on a blink of an eye he's just there and when my friends see my instagram stories or when i tell them about my life because you know girlfriends discuss everything and even my cousins they just i i literally hear this once a month that sakshi i'm so jealous of your life and all credit to my husband on this thing because he just makes me this Barbie doll feeling all the time and I and I am genuinely so grateful for this but let me tell you before so me and my husband met in the month of January and in the month of December just one month prior I had this guy I had a huge crush on things didn't work out between us and I was so bummed I was so bummed only if I can tell you that on New Year's Eve, when my now husband messaged me on Facebook wishing me Happy New Year, I just went with an open mind of talking to him and things got unfolded so quickly that within just six months, we decided to marry each other. It is just crazy to even think of. But I'm also not even surprised because the way he treated me, the way he was with me for six months, a guy never treated me like that. A guy was never available for me the way he was. And the connection between us was so strong that we just had to be there for each other the entire life. It just blows my mind. And I manifested a partner that I always wanted in my life. I manifested a human that I could call my husband and my best friend and I can literally talk about all my dirty secrets under the stars with him without having any filter and I can be myself and he can be himself and we, cre we have created this sacred space in between us, among us, that allows us to expand and hold each other's highest capacity and it just blows my mind of how things unfold themselves when you are open to receiving from the universe when you are just available for what is coming your way and your willingness to accept things in the best way possible so that's the story of my husband second story is about my travel i have traveled to 23, 24 countries till now with 45 plus cities in Europe. And it just blows my mind. If you have not seen this video, I will link it somewhere here. 
please make sure to check that out. I talk about my travel stories, more of how I've manifested traveling in Europe, moving to Europe in detail, and it will just blow your mind of how things unfolded for me so quickly in my life within just one year. Everything changed, and I'm just so beyond grateful for that. Traveling to Europe was never on cards. Moving to Europe was never on cards, but it happened for me. Detail are there in that video. It's a little bit 10-15 minutes long with, um, story, so just check that out. Then my girlfriends, I always wanted a group of girls that I can hang out with, I can go on trips, I can go on brunch date, dinner date, clubbings, you know, do all the fun things that bring the feminine side of me out in the world. And it just blows my mind that I've been able to build that exact type of girls in my friend circle, in my inner circle. In Europe, back in India, I had girlfriends, but they all moved outside. You know, my I have three closest friends. One of them is in India only. Uh, one is in US. One is in London. And I felt so lonely some days that I want my girlfriends with me. And when I moved to Europe, it was the hardest thing to do. But in last five years, I've been able to be friends and be such good friends who share the same purpose, same vision, same vibe, same energy as I do. And it just blows my freaking mind of the endless opportunities that are there in the world when you just open yourself to receive it. When you're just holding that space that, hey, I'm available for this universe, send it my way. I have been able to do that. <laughs> And the final example is of my body. <laughs> what was that? Anyway, the final example is of my body. That is my newest manifestation. I went to India in the month of January this year. And I went there after two years after having my son. And I went there for the first time being a mom. Actually, no, after three years, it was because of pandemic, I couldn't go. But anyway, I went to India after three years, first time being a mom. And of course, I had gained weight. I was 20 kg overweight, which is, which blows my mind, 15 to 20 kg. And everyone was so shocked seeing me. Everyone passed their comments. Everyone just was so shocked seeing my fat body. I hate to use the word fat, but... Yeah, that's what apparently uncles and aunties in India make you think you are. It's so annoying. It's so toxic. It's so killing you. You know, it kills you inside. The comments of these uncles and aunties that I decided that I am going to lose weight before December of the year. Sorry, before November of the year because that's when I'm traveling to India again. And I just want to be my pre-delivery version. Now, Pre-delivery version Sakshi is gone. I have given birth to a child who was in my womb for nine months. So that Sakshi is never coming back. It's gone. And I love it because this Sakshi is much stronger, much braver, much, you know, it's she's the best version that she could ever be. And I know what I'm pos what I'm capable of doing, you know. So when I was thinking that I will bring old Sakshi back, I was literally taking this whole thing wrong. But when I decided to become the best version of who I am today, that's when things changed. In last four months, I have lost 10 kg with the same diet that I was eating in last one year and I couldn't lose the weight. I go to gym twice thrice maximum three times a week and I've been doing this for past one year but I couldn't lose the weight but in just four months I did it with the same diet with the same workout routine with same lifestyle same everything and how I was able to do that manifestation is the answer no enjoying the process is the answer when you put that burden on yourself 
when you pressurize yourself, nothing works. When you are in that negative energy, when you are in that toxic energy, when you are just thinking it's not possible for me, it can never happen for me, I can never go back to my old self, guess what? It will never happen. But when you come from the space of, this is actually possible for me, I can do this. This is absolutely doable. When you live in that delusional, unshakable self-belief and unshakable confidence and you enjoy the process and you trust the process and you trust that what you are putting out there will come back 10x better for you, it will happen for you. I promise you it will happen for you. And you can see I'm pretty much back in my old form as I was in my pre-delivery phase in just four months doing the same things because I started to enjoy more. I started to dress like how I would dress when I would lose weight. I started to eat what how I would eat when I would lose weight. I started going out for clubbings, for drinks, meeting my girlfriends more. You know, I started being myself or of how I would be when I would lose weight, you know, and things started to unfold because I made myself available that, hey, I'm available. I am ready to step into this next version of me. I am not living in this draining, toxic energy of negativity of this fat body that people have said to me a million times. And you can see this is literally my reality. You can go and see my four months back videos, how I used to look and how I look today. Same thing. I did nothing different. Literally same. You know, when I stepped into the coaching industry, I saw all these manifestation gurus talking about manifestation. They kept saying that um, if you invest $10,000 in this coaching program, then only you will make $10,000. If you invest in this high vibe group program, then only you will be that high vibe group person who will attract high vibe clients, who will attract those premium clients. And it all has become so toxic in today's world that I just cannot even imagine I cannot even comprehend it right now. The concept is so poorly out there that the concept which was so beautiful, people now take it like a joke. It's It has become like a fake thing online and I just, it, it aches my heart to even see that. And don't get me wrong, there are some uh, mentors out there who teach manifestation in a beautiful way. For example, the manifestation wave, if you'll see Amanda Fernandez, she's, they are so good. They know what they're talking about. They don't teach you that you need to invest 10,000 to make 10,000. They don't teach you that you need to be always high vibe, always in the best energy to attract the good things in your life. You can be low energy and yet you can attract the best things in your life. It's just learn from the right mentors, you guys. It will change the things for you. But there are some gurus who have made this whole thing so bad, so toxic. And when I watched the movie The Secret, that was the first time I realized the concept of manifestation. I didn't knew. I just heard about it. And then I watched this movie and I was like, mind blown that this is possible. Your thoughts create your reality. What you're believing to be true is what you manifest in your real life. And it just blows my mind of how just with your belief, you can create your reality. Isn't it the most precious thing ever? Like how? I want to talk about some practical things of how you can actually manifest your dream life or the things that you want in your life. Number one, get super clear on the things that you want. If you are confused, how can you get a clear answer yourself? You have to be very specific on what you want to actually attract that thing in your life. So get really clear on what you want. When I met my husband, I was super clear on the things that I want. I was super clear that 
I want a guy who can hear me, who is available for me, who is loving, who is humble, who is kind, who likes going to bar, who likes talking to my friends, who likes hanging out in groups, who likes traveling. I was like super clear on what I wanted and he has everything from my list that I created. Just one thing is not there. He don't like clubbing. I love clubbing, but it's totally fine, you know. But the point is, the basic characteristics that I needed in a guy, he has every damn characteristic. And I'm not joking. I am not joking. Number two, be open to the opportunities. If you want to attract a guy in your life, we are taking the, this example, okay? We are going with a guy example here. If you want to attract a guy in your life, how open are you to the opportunities of actually being available to attract a guy? Are you going to the places where the type of guy you want to attract goes? For example, if you want to attract, um, I don't know, a person who reads more books, are you going to libraries? Are you going to museums? Are you going to these places where... You could actually meet people like that. If you want to go to bars, you want to meet a guy who is more outgoing, fun, and, you know, all those things. Are you going to these meetups, parties, clubs, bars, whatever? If you want to start a business, for example, are you giving some time to learn a skill? Are you enrolled in a coaching program? Are you talking to a mentor? Are you doing certain things that you need to do to put yourself out there so that opportunities can knock your door? Are you doing any of that? So being open to opportunities but also being open to the idea of curiosity. What will happen if I do that? What will happen if I do this? Are you being open to those opportunities? Are you putting yourself out there to attract the things that you want? There is a difference in chasing and there is a difference in attraction. Attract, don't chase. And finally, which is like the super important thing when it comes to manifestation or as I said in the Lucky Girl Syndrome video, it is act as if it's already done. Act like this is already yours. How will you act when you meet that person of your dreams? How will you dress up? How will you speak? How will you sit? How will you stand? How will you eat? Where will you eat? Just go get a taste of that life already, you know, and just see how you feel. Just tap into those feelings. Just tap into those emotions. Just tap into that feeling of, what it's making you feel when you will actually experience that in your reality. Because you know how the universe responds. It doesn't respond that, okay, you're high energy, so I will give you high energy thing. No, it doesn't happen like that. And I'm no expert in manifestation, just so you know. But from my experience, I'm literally saying from my experience, universe responds to your frequency, to your energy. Meaning that even when I got uh, flunked in the college and I still got the job, I always was working on that, hey, I want job and say product. So I'm going to keep continuing learning about the product. Um, and I know I will get the job. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just, I flunked. So it's okay. That's something out of control now. I cannot control. Let's focus on the things that I can control. Right? So this is how universe responds in you doing the work and not worrying about the things that you cannot control. Because as humans, we are so tuned and so um, in the habit of trying to control things that are out of our control and it just doesn't make sense, right? What if you could focus your energy on the things that you could control and you work on it and see how your life beautifully unfolds itself. So yeah, this is what I have for you right now for manifesting your dream life without actually manifesting it. Don't go crazy. Don't overwhelm yourself with a million different vision boards. 
make one, just practice it, watch it daily for 30 seconds, tap into the emotion. That is the most important thing that will change the game for you. And you got this, my friend. I will see you in my next video very soon. Till then, take care and have fun. I'll see you. Bye.